Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, Olivis. I usually don't take it for granted. By supporting me in this video, just do me a favor and show you like the video. I will appreciate you so much for that like. Now, Kenyans, it is just about five minutes ago. As William Ruto appoints ex PS Eliud Owalo and Moses Kuria as Deputy Chief of Staff and Senior Economic Advisor, respectively, picks Dennis Itumbi as Head of Special Projects in his office. Ladies and gentlemen, it is shocking that now those individuals about Kenya walisema waende nyumbani bado wanarudi. They are still coming back. He sacked Elidowalo and Moses Kuria and they are now back fully with offices. So at this point, we just need we just need to take all these people home. Because upon my realization, even despite of Kenyans will come out to see that these individuals must go, I'm asking myself, are you sure that William Ruto will sack these individuals? Now watch kubaridi bila kazi. It is indeed government of broad government and government of national unity. Everyone save for hustlers and mama mboga finds themselves with a plate to dine from. So we are not having government of national unity but government of saving individuals who are so corrupt they were so pathetic. They were using their offices to squander the public resources. And I want to tell you, na kama awo wote wanarudisho, inamanisha ata Susana Humesha, anarudi. Susana Humesha, anarudi. It is a big insult to Kenyans. Anaturushia matope kwa uso. Na anatuonyesha yu kidole yake katikati, mutadu. That is what the man is trying to do to us. It is almost like a dare. Atikwani mutadu. And because he wants to save his people, yani, Ruto ameamua tu akufe na watu wake. And so, I want to tell you something. The way I told you here. Wacha warudishwe. Wacha warudishwe. You know? Na warudishwe mpaka ele finance bill 2024. William Ruto will not believe his two eyes. And do you know that these crooks always rotate around power? Hmm? Left right center. Wanakwanga to around power. And I'm sympathizing with the Kenyans. They will come out praising William Ruto, oh, you did a good job. Which good job? These crooks always rotate around the power. Day in, day out. Hmm? In every government, they are there. Wanafukuzwa, wanarudishwa, you know? Tunachezwa, na tulichezwa. Hmm? And that is where we are. And so William Ruto, anarudisha mkono. And have you realized? Have you realized that William Ruto ataki kuwacha hii watu? Kama mtu kama Moses Kuri. Ataki kuwacha Moses Kuri ya inje ya serikali. Because he understands very well. This man can destroy him. And so the only thing he can do, maintain these individuals. So Ruto will show you bad things. Watch. As everything unfolds, we had our day, but few people. We as young men, we had our day, and we told you we want good leadership. Those who are not arrogant, they do understand the issues and the interests of the people. But everything, my status is protected, area or hosting our hostage, all those kind of things. 
So there is money to fund these positions. But there is no money for teachers of JSS, doctors, students. Enyewe Kenya, sisi, tunachezo vibaya. And you will find that some individuals are still praising these ind individuals. But let me tell you, we as Gen Z's, we have played our role. Enough is enough. Other stories. Morara Kibasu said, you deserve bad leadership. Wacha mkoniwe, wacha waibie, wacha mkose madau kwa subitali, wacha mkienda public hospital muna panga lainu watu kama mia, tangufike kwa lainu mekufa. You deserve to die without medicine because you don't want good leadership. You will find some people praising individuals. When we say Druto must go, to sh of course, it should have literally meant him going out of office. One by one, he's reappointing his people back in government. Moses Kuria, Elidoal, Denis Itumbi are back in government. That is why corruption is still going to be there. There's nothing you can do now. Because you people, you are courting bad leadership. Just imagine, Kuri and David Indy are the government advisors on the economic matters. Do we have any country here? Do we have a country here? I thought the number of advisors were reduced, but now William Ruto is increasing. We were told we are not going to have money allocated to the office of the First Lady. We were told that we are not going to have these all advisors. They must be reduced. They are being reappointed again. Hmm? So those people who are remaining, Ababu na Mwamba, Machu na Humisha, indeed Ruto is making changes. Indeed Ruto is making changes. And that is why Sazote wanasema kuna pesa. Instead of cutting cost by downsizing, they keep reappointing politicians, you know, to roles which exist or existing in civil servants can perform perfectly. Nabado, mutawana mchezo. Mchezo upo. Mchezo upo kubwa. Serikali sasa ni kubwa. Munaambiwa the broad-based government. Serikali kubwa. Inabaiba hii wanasiasa wote. Nyi muna baki hapo. Hakuna pesa za capitation. Munaambiwa pesa hakuna. Ya kulipa JSS. Lakini kuna pesa ya kulipa hii ofisi senya. Hakuna maana. Hmm? That is what we are being told. There was never any change. Ruto is taking Kenya's demands for granted. I'm telling you. Anyway, time will tell. The clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. It is just a matter of time. And I'm telling you, the bomb that is going to erupt in this country. Hmm? Ah, yeah. The classic revolving door of a government appointment is so crazy. Fired one day, hired the next into some obscure adversary, uh, adversary role with a fancy title. You know? It is like they are playing a game of musical chairs with taxpayers' money. But of importance here is life. When you go to demonstration, they kill you. Kenya is for choosing few. And that is why I always say, Mua praise, I don't care. Mua praise. Mua praise. As long as I can make my bread of the day. I support Morara. You deserve to die because there is no medicine. You deserve to be in problem. You deserve your children not to go to school. Why? Because when you are tell, you are being told this, mtu anakuambia vile amekuwa kuuze kwa politics for long period of time. Sasa unamuuliza we uze yako kwa politics na issues yenye tunataka sahihi na associate aje. Hm? Mtu anatuambia oh ana support personality not ideologies, not agendas. Then at the law, at, at the end of the day atabaki hapo akisifu wa watu individuals. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till we meet in another video.